Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel name. Today we're diving into one of China's most talked about e-commerce giants, Pinduoduo or PDD. If you're interested in the world of e-commerce, tech stocks, or the Chinese market, you won't want to miss this. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about what Pinduoduo is for those who might not be familiar. Pinduoduo or PDD is an innovative e-commerce platform that has taken the Chinese market by storm. Founded in 2015, it's unique because it introduced a social shopping model where users can team up to buy products at a lower price. This has resonated particularly well with price-sensitive consumers in China's lower-tier cities. In just a few short years, Pinduoduo has grown to become one of China's largest e-commerce companies, right up there with giants like Alibaba and JD.com. But what makes Pinduoduo stand out? And more importantly, what does this mean for its stock? Let's break it down. Pinduoduo's business model is what truly sets it apart. Unlike traditional e-commerce platforms that focus on individual transactions, PDD leverages social buying. Users are encouraged to share their purchases with friends and family through social media platforms like WeChat to get discounts. This group buying approach not only drives sales, but also enhances user engagement. Another interesting aspect is Pinduoduo's focus on agriculture. The company has made significant inroads in connecting farmers directly with consumers, cutting out the middlemen. This has allowed Pinduoduo to tap into a huge market of agricultural products, giving them an edge in a space that's often overlooked by other e-commerce platforms. Now let's talk numbers. Pinduoduo has shown impressive growth in terms of revenue and active users. As of the latest reports, the company has over 880 million active buyers. Their revenue has been steadily increasing, and despite the competitive landscape, PDD has managed to maintain a strong growth trajectory. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Pinduoduo, like many Chinese tech companies, has faced regulatory pressures, which has impacted its stock price. The company has also been investing heavily in research and development, which, while promising for the future, has led to short-term losses. So what does this mean for PDD stock? Over the past year, PDD stock has been quite volatile. After hitting highs, the stock faced a sell-off, largely due to regulatory concerns and broader market conditions affecting Chinese tech stocks. But here's the thing. Many analysts believe that Pinduoduo's long-term potential remains strong. The company's focus on innovation, its growing user base, and its unique market positioning could make it a solid play for long-term investors. However, the stock is not without risks, especially considering the regulatory environment in China. So, should you buy PDD stock? If you're looking for a high-growth stock with exposure to the Chinese market and are comfortable with the associated risks, PDD could be an interesting addition to your portfolio. However, it's important to keep an eye on regulatory developments and the company's financial health as they continue to scale. That's it for today's video. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more insights into the stock market. Let me know in the comments what you think about Pinduoduo and if you're planning to invest in PDD. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Fun.